Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GCP with Mahesh. Today we are going to look into a Chrome extension called as GCP Console Colorize. Really a cool uh, extension which can help us to distinguish between it's a production project, it's a uh, staging uh, GCP project, it's a development uh, GCP project so that it can differentiate by color so that when we are looking at that color we can make sure that we are little cautious when we are playing around with those uh, environments. So a uh, really a cool extension. Let's get started by exploring this. So this is the extension which I mentioned called as GCP console colorize and everything is mentioned how it looks uh, when you add it. So if you just look into it, you just need to enter the project ID and the color of your choice. So usually I would prefer to give production something like a red color, uh, which is something like you have to be a bit cautious. And if it's a lower non-production environment, give a different color. So that way you can easily make sure based on the color, uh, how cautious you should be. I would say every project you should be cautious, but this color will definitely give a, a better uh, experience is what I would say. So what I mean is basically, to simulate this entire thing. So I have already already installed this extension and because of which I see this extension. So GCP color uh, console colorize is what you see. Now to simulate this, how does it work? Basically, we know the GCP console, the, the border is going to be blue in color, dark blue kind of a stuff. So what I have done is I have simulated, I have three projects, production, uh, staging, dev environment. So usually every, every every environment right uh, will have similar resources naming convention everything so sometimes when we change the uh, the console from one project to another project there's a chance sometimes we may not notice that we are in the wrong project and we may delete it i have done such blunders uh, in past so this colorize can definitely help us in what way so just click on, so let me first swap back to production. I have three environments. So let me click on this console and click on option. So when I do this option, it's going to come back to my uh, normal mode of my Chrome browser. I just need to enter my project ID. So meaning, so get my project ID, which is this one. And what's the color you want. So let me purposely give red color so that I should be very cautious when I'm working with production project. So it's like a traffic signal. So red, stop it. So stop working or be very careful when you're working with production environment. Staging. So I can take little lightly. So I can do something like uh, something like green or gray gray I can do it or whatever this color slightly different change in the color maybe I can get a better color or let me make it uh, this thing and the last project which is uh, dev project this is the project ID mention it and let me choose a color which is like green I can play around with it I can break it I can do everything. It's a dev project. Save this. That's it. You're all done. Now swap your screen to your incognition window itself, the private window. Now if I just refresh it, it's going to change my color for production. The, ba the blue banner is going to become red. If things are all fine with it. So let's just wait for it to show up. You see that? So the production project is red. So I can be a bit cautious when I'm playing around it. Let me just change it to uh, staging, which was something like a, a gray color or black color, whatever the color. So it's now this. And now if I swap my screen to dev environment, it's going to show me in green. So I can play around, go delete whatever I want. So it's a very, very valuable Chrome extension is what I would say. I'm going to continue using this extensively because I really make blunders like this, deleting certain things in production, uh, deleting certain stuffs in a uh, staging environment. At least by this color, I should be able to easily uh, figure it out. I'm really uh, like, I'm going to start using it. So switching back to production, just wanted to see, yes, it's really working. So I'm going to mention, give the link in the description. If you're really interested, please use this. It's a valuable ad. 
So that's the video which I wanted to show today, uh, a Chrome extension, really, really a cool extension. So uh, we should not, never make mistakes of deleting resources in the wrong project. So that can help us in this case. So I hope the video is helpful. Thank you for watching.